What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to my boy, Prakash. First of all, for having the most amazing name I've ever heard in my life, Prakash. Um, shout out to you, man, for, for asking this question. This is this is a popular question. I get it a lot, um, not just here on, on my YouTube comments, but just overall, when I speak to different clients, when I speak to different and of consulting different agency owners or aspiring agency owners, um, this is what I hear a lot. And, and this is what I see a lot, you know, an individual trying to go after many different type of businesses. If you're new to my channel, you guys, first of all, you hear it. I mean, well, shit, if you're new to my channel, you probably never heard it. But if you if you've been on my channel for a while, you hear me talk about it a lot. I try to put out as much content over here as possible based on my real life experiences, based on what I'm really doing in, in, in my in my business career, right? So when it comes to, to servicing social media clients, when it comes to running Facebook ads, putting together landing pages and sales funnels, that's what I do over here. But again, it's based on what the hell I do day in the life. Um, been, doing this, been doing this since 2017, servicing clients, running Facebook ads for clients, and then branching out to digital products and even running ads for solar, which I'll be doing in 2021, um, because that industry is freaking booming. But whatever I'm trying to do, it, 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 it's bring value, first of all, to, to you guys based on what I'm actually doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer this question based on my experience, right? Based on how I'm thinking, based on what I'm doing, based on what I've been trying to do since 2017, servicing clients and trying to bring value, right? So time and time again, I'll hear this a lot. you know. Um, I'll speak to somebody and they're thinking about one type of niche and then and then they're trying to go after 15 other different kind of niches, right? And then I have to kind of narrow it in and, and, and help them and really just consolidate their freaking skill and really, really narrow in their skill to, to primarily focus on one type of niche. I'm a huge, huge believer in one type of niche. So Prakash, shout out to you for asking the question. He's over here asking, um, and he's saying, I'm running FB ads for dentists, but can I run ads for plumbers, karate clubs, and gyms? Okay. The answer is no. I mean, me personally, right? The answer would be hell no. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go after multiple businesses, not until you get really, really freaking damn good at what you're doing, right? When you're, when, when you get super good at what you're doing, um, then you can hire and delegate different roles and different, different jobs to other people. Maybe you have a camera crew and now, now, now you're going to be able to provide video, video content for all types of different businesses. Maybe you have, you have someone that does different sales funnels. Okay. Now you delegate that job to him where he can go out there and build different sales funnels for different type of businesses until you get to that level where you're actually hiring people, whether they're virtual assistants or, or in-house, it doesn't matter. Um, I'd stay away from it, man. If you're just getting started, I would focus on one freaking niche. So when I got started in 2017, servicing social media clients, servicing a certain type of industry, a certain niche, I didn't know it all. All I knew is that I came from the industry and I knew that there was a lack, there was a demand in, in, in marketing services. I knew that much, right? I knew that the niche didn't really have a marketing strategy. I knew that the niche were not really branding themselves on social media. I knew that the niche were, were not running Facebook ads, targeting their local area. I knew I knew these basics, right? And, and once I really started to learn it even more, I, I, I learned how to package it and start delivering it, right? So let me kind of break this down and, and hopefully it brings value to all you guys that are, that are thinking the same thing. You know, what kind of business should I go after? What kind of niche should I go after? Should I go after many different niches? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down, okay? And again, based on my real life experiences. So if you're into this type of stuff, you guys subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. Been building an agency since 2017. Gotten hundreds and hundreds of clients on marketing services, specifically Facebook advertising. And again, just over here documenting day in the life, tutorials, sales trainings, stra uh, sales strategy calls. That's what you'll see here on this channel. So subscribe, man, if you're into this type of stuff and, and trying to build something online um, through social media. But here's what, here's, here's what I did, okay? Here's what I did, and here's still who I am to, to this day. I truly believe that you should go after an industry or a niche that you have experience in or you want to grow in, right? Or you want to, to learn and gain experience in. Don't go after dentists, Prakash, if you don't know a damn thing about dentistry, 
right? If you never came from the industry, if you don't plan on being in the industry, why are you going after dentists? Dennis, first of all, right? That, that's that's the million dollar question. Why dentists, right? Just because they got money, right? You 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 you. I guess if you get really good at what you're doing, then then you could you can go after anybody. But I truly believe in the beginning, it's going to make it super easy for you to go after a niche that you're that, that you can relate to, that you can that you're familiar with, that you can that you can um um uh, that you can you can share your experience in, right? So for example, from the very beginning, I knew that I wanted to go after real estate agents because I came from the industry of mortgages, right? So out here in San Diego from 2010 to 2016, I was in the mortgage industry, refinancing, helping real estate agents with their clients and helping them get pre-approved to purchase a home here in the US. Um, I got really good at that. And, 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 and prior to that, I had a marketing background prior to that. So, so 10 years prior to even jumping into the mortgage industry, mortgage industry, I, I was already learning marketing. Like I started learning marketing in 1999. Some of you guys weren't even born in that year, dude. I started learning marketing, online marketing, what it takes to capture leads on the internet, the power of the internet. I was literally inspired by the internet in 1999. So that's when that, this whole online journey started for me personally what was, was way back then but in 2010 is when I got into mortgages and I started I started networking with a ton of real estate agents right here in San Diego and also across the country so I spent six years as a licensed loan originator originating mortgages and that's where I I, I, I developed the knowledge or just just really the 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 overall um um I just realized, and I and 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 I and I and I guess you can I guess you could say I freaking the light bulb went on when I'm like, wait a minute, all these real estate agents that I'm talking to, they don't know a damn thing about marketing, and and and, and no disrespect, like no disrespect, but. 99.99% of every single real estate agent, because a mortgage person has to communicate with a real estate agent, right, and vice versa, like they go hand in hand, like you can't you can't freaking manufacture tires for a car without having a relationship with the damn manufacturer of the car, right? They go hand in hand. So in, in real estate, real estate and mortgages go hand in hand. So me being a mortgage guy, I was always interacting with real estate agents and really getting to know their side of the business and, and, and really seeing how I can bring value to their side of the business. This is when I was in mortgages, right? So I quickly realized that the majority of them that I were that I was working with had no clue about marketing. They weren't spending anything in marketing. Um, and if they were, they were, they were, they were spending a ton of money offline, direct mail, putting their face on a bus bench, putting their face on a billboard, putting their face on a freaking flyer and handing out 300 flyers in their neighborhood when all of them are going to be thrown away and that shit ain't cheap, right? So I I, I knew this being in the mortgage, mortgage industry. So when I leave mortgages in 2016, I'm like, man, what can I do online? Like, that's where I was at. That's, that was my whole train of thought. Like my, 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 what was going on in my, in my head? Like, what can I do online? Like, I'm, I'm tired of sales. I'm tired of chasing people. I'm tired of speaking to the wrong people. I was always fascinated with marketing, being able to put out a message and let people come to me. I was always fascinated with that. So I was like, dude, what industry needs that? What 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 can I bring to the table? How what can how can I spin this and, and bring value? And automatically it brought me back to my mortgage days. And I'm like, wait a minute, real estate agents need all this stuff. They don't, their website is crap, they don't have a landing page, they don't know nothing about Facebook ads, their social media platforms look like crap. I'm starting to realize this in 2016. Okay. So Fast forward 2017, I started thinking of different random services that I can offer, and I started to go after them. And, and to this day, I've now gotten hundreds and hundreds of real estate clients as real estate agents as clients when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. But one huge reason why I, I succeeded, I truly, truly believe one huge reason why is because I came from the industry. So when I'm talking to people, I'm able to, I'm able to, I'm able to, 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 to talk their swag. I'm able to talk their lingo. I'm able to talk their, their, their verbiage and their vocabulary. I'm able to say different words that I know that they relate to. You know, I'm able to, to bring my experience and, and bring up my past experience in mortgages, which gives me credibility to when I'm speaking to a real estate agent. 
So it went hand in hand. And that's what I, what I truly believe. I'm like, dude, I think about it all the time. I'm like, I, the reason why I went after real estate agents is because I knew that I could talk to them. I knew that I can communicate with them because I know how they're thinking. I know what they're thinking. I know what they lack. I know that they suck in marketing. I know that most of them don't even do any marketing. I'm knowing these things and I'm able to relate to them much, much more, more, more effectively when I'm on that presentation call than if I did not come from the industry. So, so for cash, if I came from mortgages and I went after, and, and I said, you know what? Okay. I'm done with mortgages. I'm, I'm going to start marketing. I'm going to start a marketing agency. I'm going to start going after clients and I'm going to go after dentists, bro. If that was me, I would have been dead in the water because I don't know shit about dentistry. I don't know one damn thing. I don't know any of the tools. I don't know the verbiage. I don't know the swag. I don't know how long they've been in school. I don't know what they owe as far as debt. I don't know their goals. I don't know their freaking vision. I don't know their marketing plan. I don't know none of that about the dentist industry. So if I just went straight in because because what most of most of us think we're like, okay, shit, who has the money, right? Where is the money? Who has the money? Who can I go after and offer these services for because I know they got the money. That's not the way to, to approach this, man. At least in my professional opinion, I wouldn't do it that way um, because anyone can get money. You can get money in all kinds of different industries, but what's going to help you become more successful is when you have a passion, when you have experience, when you know how to communicate with them, when you know what they lack, when you know what they need, when you know their desires, when you know their pain points, that's, gonna, that's what's going to effectively help you help them because you know their pain points and what they are ultimately desire when it comes to building their business online, right? So I couldn't have gone after an, an industry that I had no clue about because I just truly believe I wouldn't have been successful at all, um, at all at all. So that's where I would kind of start with. Why dentistry? Why are you going after dentists? Are, do you want to become a dentist someday? Do you, um, did you come from the industry? Did you work at a, at a, at a dentist's office? Like, if, if so, then okay, cool. Then, then that makes sense why you're going after dentists, okay? But, but if you did not, then, then maybe pick a different industry, okay? And again, if you're young and you're like, well, damn, David, I haven't done shit. I'm 19. I'm 18. I'm 17. I'm 20. I don't have a ton of experience. I, I did not come from mortgages for the past six years like you did, right? Like, okay, cool. So what did I say in the beginning? I said, dude, okay, pick a niche that you want to grow in. Pick a niche that you actually want to learn. So many industries, so many amazing industries out there, you guys, that, that, are, that, 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 that you can fall in love with, build a passion for, and grow in right that's what i would do so so per cash if that's dentistry for you okay cool then freaking go after it and crush it but if it's not go find your passion go find your experience go find where you want to grow and i would go after a niche within that industry okay there's many different micro niches inside of anything and everything you can find a business that will need your services for sure. Okay. Um, so that's how I would kind of approach that. Now, let's say, for example, you come from dentistry or you want to be a dentist someday and you're studying that, you're studying that in, in university or at college, and, and that's where you want to want to grow and go, right? Okay. Well, then if that's the case, I wouldn't even be thinking about plumbers, karate clubs, gyms. No, I would focus and double down and go all in on one niche. And that's what I did in the very beginning. Like, and, and I was preaching this stuff from the very beginning. I'm like, dude, no, you got to focus on one niche. And I learned that from mentors, right? As I started getting into, into all this 2017, I'm buying courses just like everybody else. I'm learning from people online, just like all of you guys, right? I'm, I'm, I'm investing in mentors and coaching programs, just like a lot of you guys. So I learned that from a coach in the very, very beginning where it's like, dude, you want to focus on one niche. And here's the reason, because as you get really good at that one niche, it makes it super, super easy to go get 15,000 more. Because once you provide a great service to one person, all I got to do is show that testimony or show that case study or show that proof to the other real estate agent and they're going to want the same damn thing. I'll take that success story. I'll show it to another real estate agent and they're going to want the same damn thing. 
right? So now what I can do, if I were to do it all over, I would have, I would have, I would have started running Facebook. And here's the deal. If again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But if you've been here for a while, I talk, I've talked about this. I I, I brought this up in the past and I, and I talk about it often where I got so damn good at the direct message where I still have not yet needed to run Facebook ads for social media clients. I still don't run Facebook ads for them or, or, or to get them, I should say, to get them. So to get more clients, I, I've never had to run Facebook ads because I got so damn good out the direct message. But the direct message is 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 somewhat time consuming. You're 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 having to rely on 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 putting in the damn time every day, right? Now I have fun with it. I'm good at it. It's stupid simple for me, and I get major appointments from it. All of these calls that you see on 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 YouTube here, go to my playlist. Go to strategy calls. Ninety nine percent of every call. Now some of you guys found me from YouTube, right? So shout out to you guys. Much love to all my clients who have actually found me from YouTube, but 99% of every single client, and I'm talking hundreds, came from the direct message, right? I got that good at it. So I never had to rely on, on ads, but if I were to do it all over again, and I learned this from my mentor, and it's what I just got done saying, I would get really, really good, and I would crush it for one client. Then I would take that experience, I would document that experience, I will take that case study, that testimony, and then I would go run Facebook ads, targeting real estate agents, showing them my proof. Hey guys, this is what I did for Stacy. If you'd like me to do the same thing for you, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can schedule your free consultation call. Can't wait to talk to you, right? I would have did that from the get-go. 2017, I would have not wasted any more time direct messaging and or 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 trying to trying to physically put in the work. I would have straight took that first freaking success story, ran Facebook ads, and I would have gone out there and got 3,000 clients. Like I could have easily, easily did that. So if I were to do it all over again, that's what I would do. Like I would get really good and then I would use that as my ad to go get more clients. Okay. So when you focus on one niche, and here's here's what you should be doing. Here's what here's what most of you guys you guys should be doing. And again, I learned this back in 2017 from a mentor. Most of us think that we need to be offering all kinds of random services. Now, in the space of social media marketing, in the space of digital marketing, in the space of freaking just marketing services in general, what most of us are trying to do for small businesses. There's many different services within that that you could be offering. You could just be a simple graphic designer and you're doing graphic design designing for the client. You could be really good at video content because you got a badass drone or you got a badass freaking Canon camera and you're freaking really good at, 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 at capturing video footage and, and that's your service for clients. You could be really good at Facebook advertising. You could be really good at Instagram advertising. You could be really good at freaking at, at SEO. You could be really good at all this random shit, right? And, 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 and in the beginning, this is what I did. I'm like, dude, these clients need it all. I'm like, shit, I'm your one-stop shop. Come to me, I'll freaking do it all. Graphic design, I got you. Logo design, I got you. SEO, I got you. All this random shit, I got you, right? In the very beginning, I was trying to be the jack of all trades until one of my mentors said, no, dude, the one thing that these small business, business owners are going to pay you for is paid advertising. So cancel all these random, now, now again, unless you're a graphic designer and that is your passion, then okay, design logos for small business owners and offer that as a service. But if none of that shit is, right, if none of that is your passion, if none of that is your real skill and you think you could just delegate it because you got a team, no, dude, you're wasting money on the team. First of all, you don't need to offer none of that shit because really at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know how else to put it. It's all about paid advertising. So if, if you're trying to offer social media marketing services and you're posting on someone's business page, all that shit is a waste of money. All that shit is a waste of time. When I talk to clients and they're like, yeah, and they're like, David, yeah, I pay this company. They post for me three times a day. I'm like, what? You're a local business owner. And then I go look at their freaking business page and I look at their post that this other random company is doing for them. I'm like, dude, there's no likes. Like no one's liking this shit. Like th this is horrible. Like Stop paying people. Stop thinking you need to be doing that for businesses and, and other people. At the end of the day, dude, 
the most highest paid service that any small business owner will pay you for is paid traffic. And when you narrow that down, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, in my professional opinion, that's all you need to be offering. That's it. Like when I could, when I can run an ad for someone and capture a lead, that is, that is a, a KPI. That is an ROI. There is proof that what I'm doing worked. But if I'm posting for you, if I'm doing all this other random shit that doesn't net you an ROI to the business owner, it's a waste of time, man. It's a waste of money. Like they're not going to keep you around because you're not going to be, they're not going to be able to gauge that. They're not going to be able to look at that and be like, okay, yeah, cool. My business is growing because you're posting on my business page or you're posting on my IG and I'm a local business owner. It's like, dude, none of that shit pays, man. It, it, and if it does pay you right now, it ain't, it ain't long-term at all. So when you can really get super, super good at paid traffic, at paid services, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, 99.9999% of businesses will pay you for it, okay? So what I would start doing is I would start with, okay, what's that one niche that I'm fired up about that I want to continue to grow in or that I have previous, previous experience in, right? I would go after that and pick one niche. I'd get really, really good at, 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 at that one niche. And then I would take my best, best case study, run a Facebook ad to a landing page and get people to, 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 to schedule appointments with me. You can easily do that. Start running Facebook ads to get more clients. One niche, um, one success story, and, and many, many clients in that one niche. Now, when you fo- another thing, when you focus on one niche, it allows you to focus on one niche. It allows you to get good at that one niche, right? And and when you can do that, it makes it easy for everything else because now everything becomes a cookie cutter system, meaning you could just clone your success. You can multiply your success. What I did for this real estate agent is the same shit that I'm going to do for for the other agent, the same that I'm going to do for the next agent, the next agent, the next agent, the same Facebook ad. I have ran... You guys, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even I'm not even joking, dude. Like I'm telling you, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm dropping the realest shit over here as I possibly can based on what I really, really do. I have ran the same damn Facebook ad for hundreds of real estate agents since 2017. The same damn ad. Like, I don't got to change anything. I don't got to write anything different. It's the same freaking ad. Now, it might be a different image, right? If I'm running an image ad, it might be a different image for sure, but it's the same shit. Different image, same freaking text. Hundreds and hundreds of ads later, dude. The same freaking text. Trip out on that. Like, it's crazy. I, uh, now that I think about it, I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy. Like, it's even crazy to me. It's like, dude, but that's the benefit and that's the advantage. And that's the good thing about one freaking niche. I don't got to recreate anything. It's the same clone it, clone it, clone it, multiply it, multiply, do the same damn shit over and over and over for hundreds of different people. Right. So, so that, that's what, what it allows you to do when you could focus on one niche and, and, and now the, the ads become the same and what I would also be doing. So here's the deal. Here's the services that I would be providing if I were you guys. And, and these are services that could pay you a shitload per month. Um, now where I'm at today in 2021, I don't do it for people anymore. I now coach them and teach them how to do it themselves. So that's my coaching program today. Um, my higher ticket program. That's what I do now is I actually have, have coaching calls where I teach small business owners, real estate agents, how to run Facebook ads. I teach them how to do it themselves, right? That's where I'm at now. But, but when it comes down to it again, if I was either doing it all over again, or if I was just giving advice to per cash, here's what I would be offering. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, same damn thing. FB, IG, same shit, right? FB ads, paid traffic, paid ads. What I would also be doing is I would, I would be providing the landing page service as well, because as you run ads, that ad, that click needs to be going to a landing page. I would be the one who sets up that landing page for them as well, which is what I do. I would set up that landing page. I would manage manage that landing page. So that's number two. Service number one is a Facebook ad, Instagram ad, maybe even YouTube ad, but, it, but it's really one paid traffic. I would focus on one. Don't try to go get good at 
Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, freaking Snapchat, TikTok, tick, 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 however the hell you TikTok ads. Don't try to go out there and master all of them, all of them at once. Get good at one. I've been, I've been still on Facebook advertising, really trying to crack the code since 2017. I haven't even dove into YouTube ads just yet. Like I'm over here trying to crack the code over here, and then these freaking bastards keep changing the damn shit, you know. So it's like it's a never-ending learning learning process, but it's getting good at one thing. So whatever that paid advertising is for you, Facebook ads. Instagram ads or YouTube ads, pick one. That's one. Number two is the landing page. Knowing that we have to take that traffic, we have to take that click to a landing page. I would be the one who manages and creates that landing page. That's that's number two service. Number three service, when they go to that landing page and they enter their name and email, someone needs to nurture that list. Someone needs to manage that email list. That's what I'd be doing thirdly. So my three services, Facebook ads, landing pages, and email automation. Any small business owner will know, well, at least I hope they know. And if they don't know, then freaking go somewhere else, right? You're talking to the wrong person. But they should see and they should know the value in that, right? Running a paid ad, targeting your ideal audience, taking them to a landing page that I created for you. Capturing that lead and putting them in an email marketing sequence that I'm setting up for you and managing for you. Those three services, 10 out of 10 businesses will pay you for, okay? That's the real ROI. That's that's the real service that, that most should be providing. Um, um, but again, unless you have a skill or a talent or a passion in other services, then for sure, you can offer other many different, you could package up the damn thing however the hell you want. But when it comes to to just what, what I'm trying to talk about here, paid advertising, like that's really what it is. Paid advertising. A small business owner will pay you for paid advertising, right? That's what you want to be doing, man. Um, so, so that's how I've done it. I've, I've, I've gotten clients to pay me for Facebook advertising. And because I'm an affiliate with Kartra, what I do is I say, okay, John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply, I'm going to simply run these ads for you. We're going to take it to a landing page that I'm going to create for you. And we're going to put these leads in an email auto respond, an email auto responder that I'm going to manage for you. See, so when I can do that, you guys, and then, and then, and then I tell them my price a thousand a month, 2000 a month, or I charge 2000 to teach you to do it all yourself, whatever the hell your damn price point is. That's not even, that's not even the point. The point is, is that narrow down your service to the most highest ROI services possible. And that's what, in my professional opinion, being in the space for a while, that's what it is, man. It's paid advertising, landing pages, and, 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 and nurture or managing and nurturing that email list. Businesses will pay you for that. And so the way I've done it is I will get them on a Facebook advertising package, right? And then I would show them the importance of the landing page and the email autoresponder. And because these are clients that are actually in the business of appointments, Real estate agents, for example, many, many different businesses go off of appointments, dentists. So per cash, a dentist, shit, you need, you need to schedule an appointment, right? So when I'm talking to these clients, I tell them the importance of landing pages, email auto automation, and an online calendar. And then I also tell them the reality of the fact that all these software companies out there, majority of them are all one stop shops. Shout out to ClickFunnels, but it's only the landing page, right? Shout out to MailChimp, but it's only the email autoresponder. Shout out to freaking Calendly, but it's only the calendar, right? I need, I need those three. I need them to be affordable and I need, need them to be all in one. And that's Kartra. So when I explain that to a client, I say, hey, man, not only does this one software provide all those services, but what I'm also going to do for you is I'm going to help you and manage it all. And by the way, John, I already have all these funnels done for you. So, so in my case, what I have is, again, when you can focus on one niche, it allows you to package up everything and, and just use it over and over and over again. So the same funnel, this one funnel, let's just say, for example, this one funnel, I've given this one funnel to hundreds of people, right? But if I had to go create one for a karate kid, 
If I had to go create one for a freaking Joe's plumber, if I had to go create one for a freaking 24 hour fitness gym, it's like, holy shit, man. Like I would for sure need help. And I would for sure, my brain would explode because I, I can't, I don't know what the hell all these damn businesses are. I don't, that's not my niche. Right. So it's like, I'd be lost, man. But if I can focus on that one and I can go out there and create a bunch of funnels for that one. When I go and onboard that client and I go and take their credit card and I go and really paint the picture of the value, this right here is added value. This right here is icing on the cake. When I say, John, not only am I going to do all this stuff for you, but I already have it all done for you. So all I need you to do, John, is go out there and set up a set up your own Kartra account. And that's when I send them my affiliate link. So that's how, I, how I'm building an extra income on top of it all through affiliate marketing with Kartra because... All I do is I say, dude, go set up a 14 day trial. I'm going to send you my link. So make sure you click on my link, right? To set up your 14 day trial. And once your account is activated, I'm going to email you a share code to all my funnels. So when they're, when they're hearing that shit, they're like, David, wow, dude, not only are you going to run my Facebook ads, not only are you going to freaking um, um, help me with these landing pages and the email automation, but you already have all the shit done. I'm like, dude, I got it done. Activate the account and I'm going to transfer everything in two seconds. In fact, I'll stay on the line. I'll share and I'll show you how I do it. I'll share my screen and I'll show you how I freaking send you the damn share code. Right? So it's like, again, man, one niche. If I was trying to do many, many different niches, it wouldn't be this easy. So long story short, you guys, back to the question real quick. I wouldn't go after multiple. So if yes, then how to get clients and how to build trust that can do it. That I, I, Hopefully I said that. Get really good at one. Get really good at the dentist. Get really good at Joe Plummer. Get really good at Karate Kid. Get really good at freaking Gold's Gym, whatever. Get really good at one. And that becomes your proof to go get 7,000 more, okay? And the way I would do it, the way I did it was through the direct message, right? I would do it through the direct message. I still do it to this day to the direct, through the direct message. When I get them on Zoom, I'm simply showing them my other client. That's how I do it. So, so I've, I've just explained how, how if I were to do it all over again, I would have done it with a damn Facebook ad, right? I would have, I would have ran an ad to, to get more clients. That's just not where I'm at anymore. That's why I'm not, I wouldn't do that today. Me personally, my business, I'm going to, I'm trying to build something completely different, but that's what I would, I would, I would have done from the beginning because that is my proof, right? When I'm showing a case study or I'm showing a testimonial, but I do that even when I'm on the presentation. When I'm on a Zoom call, I'm sharing my screen and I'm showing them another client. I'm showing them proof of what I did for another client. And, 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 and again, I'll say this part in closing. When you go after many different businesses, let's say you got really good at freaking Joe Plummer. You got really good at, at delivering him services. But now you're, now you're doing a presentation call and you're freaking talking to the karate kid. And, and, and you're showing the karate kid, hey, man, I could, do, I could do an awesome job. In fact, let me show you what I did to Joe Plummer. Karate kid's going to be like, that ain't my industry. Like, why are you showing me freaking Joe Plummer when I'm freaking the karate kid? And that ain't even, that don't even relate to me. Like, right. So you're going to get that. So don't, don't show me a different business. If I'm a freaking, you know, dentist, don't show me a restaurant client that you have and you, you know, freaking got a ton of leads for freaking Applebee's like, don't, don't, don't do that. Cause it's not going to relate to the client. Right. So when you can focus on one per cash, you get really good at that one. That one becomes your testimony. That one becomes your case study. That one will lead you to 7,000 more, okay? And that is your proof. So I would focus on one, man. I would focus on, on one, one niche. I would get really good at that one niche. I would make sure that that niche fits my passion, that that one niche is based on my experience or where I want to grow in life. And I would go out there and crush it for them. And I would offer paid advertising, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, I would offer number two, landing pages. I would go out there and offer number three, service, email automation, okay? And then the calendar is all part of that as well, but it's really Facebook ads, landing pages, and email automation. I would do that for sure. And then also, also inside of Kartra, what I also do for a client is all already put together because again, I know the client, right? I know the industry. I know what they need. So for example, landing page like this, a real estate agent that's running an ad 
for a listing, running an ad on a house that they have for sale, right? There's a page that's already done. But the moment they opt in, the moment that lead opts in, what emails do they need to receive next? I even went up and beyond and I created the entire email automation. So it's like, dude, when I bring on a client, they're like, holy shit, David, I thought you were going to just do my Facebook ads. You're telling me you have the damn landing pages already done for me? You're telling me you already have the email automation already done for me? Holy crap, I'm in, right? That is added value. And those are the main, main services that businesses need. That's what's going to bring them customers at the end of the day. Paid traffic, a landing page, and email automation. You want to be able to manage those three and, and, and charge that client, you know, very, 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 very well, you know, to do it, to do it for them. Right. So I hopefully, hopefully that made sense per cash. Thank you so much for your comment, man. Um, and again, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If you're into Facebook advertising, I have a link below fbadscheatsheet.com. All that is, is a basic PDF showing you the most important custom audiences that you should be putting together for yourself or for your clients. When it comes to Facebook advertising, everything is about custom audiences, retargeting custom audiences, and knowing what audiences to continue to stay in front of, right? There's an art and a little science to it, but it's nothing you can't learn. So if you guys are into Facebook advertising, download that free cheat sheet below, fbadscheatsheet.com, and let me know what you guys are into, man. Let me know what you guys are, are, are doing online. Let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, you guys. So over and out, Prakash. Thank you so much, man. I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.